Hey, today I'm going to quickly teach you how to make mashed potatoes. First, what you're going to want to do is get some potatoes and wash them so you don't have dirt in your mashed potatoes. And then, next, you have to decide if you want to skin them. I am personally going to skin them because that way my toddler will eat them more happily. But for the sake of nutrition, it is honestly better if you can leave the skin on, or at least as much as you can. I don't typically like to eat this skin that's all dark on these potatoes. But either way, I'm going to skin these right now. Okay, now I have a toddler that's trying to be very vocal right now, and I have some potatoes that are peeled. And watch out for this, you can have rot in your potatoes, kind of disgusting, make sure that you cut that out, and just chuck that. Right here, you can see how much waste there is if you peel your potatoes, so that's another reason why I try not to peel them when I can, because it's just a waste, really. Anyways, now you're going to take these and you're going to dice them. You can dice them any size you really want. It just changes how long you have to cook them for. I personally cut them so that they're no more than about an inch thick, but that's personal preference because I like them to cook pretty fast, but I don't like them to cook too fast because usually I'm cooking something else with them. So now I'm going to cut these up. Okay, now that you have them cut up, what you're going to do is put them in a pot the right size so that you have a preferably a couple inches of extra space in the pot and then you're going to put water in with your potatoes and then you're going to put a lid on. Once you have a lid on what you're going to do is you're going to go over and turn it on to max and then once it starts to boil you will put it down to about three or four and just make sure that it doesn't boil over because potatoes boil over terribly. It's because of all the starch in them. So keep your eye on them. Don't go have a bath or shower while it's cooking, but keep your eye on it. So once it starts to boil, as I said, you'll put it down to uh, low to medium, and you're going to set your timer for about 15 minutes, but make sure that you're checking them regularly with a fork. And what you're going to be looking for is you're going to be looking for them to be soft to the point where you can put a fork into them easily, but so that the potato will not disintegrate when you put a fork into it. As you can see, this is now boiling. So I'm going to put it down to three, and I'm just going to leave the lid off for a bit as all that lovely starch hopefully goes down. So yeah, once it's not so close to boiling over, you can start putting the lid on a bit. A lot of the time I end up just having it about half on or three quarters on. And yeah, so just start your timer for about 10 to 15 minutes and keep testing your potatoes throughout that time. Okay, I just tested these potatoes with a fork and they are ready. So now make sure that you turn off your oven and you are going to need to drain them. Okay, now that they are drained, what you need is you're going to need a potato masher or a large fork or some sort of thing to use to mash them. And that's going to be terrible to film and do at the same time, so I'll just do it off camera. Okay, now that they're nicely mashed, what you're going to do, I prefer to use about a tablespoon per pound of margarine in my potatoes. And then you are going to add milk. I prefer about a quarter cup of milk per pound of potato and one loud baby per pound of potato too. Oh, I don't have that many babies. Anyways, and then what you're going to do is you are going to mix that. I know some people that prefer less milk because they are sick in the head and they like dry potatoes. And I also know crazy people that like their potatoes to be soupy. But I don't like that, so this is what I personally do. You do you. Uh, you can experiment with it if you have not already. If you already know how to make this, you should not be watching this video. But either way, that's what you do. So I'm going to mix this up right now. Okay, now that's mixed up good. You can see the consistency kind of here. That's how I like it, but you do you. It's ready to eat. You can, of course, put gravy on it or just margarine on it or nothing. But you can do a lot with mashed potatoes. You can even put on sour cream with bacon bits to make it like baked potato. But overall, it's a very versatile food. So as I keep saying, you do you, make it the way you like it. But this is how I make mashed potatoes. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And have yourself a good day.